Hello dear students of the 6th elementary grade and welcome to a new episode of our program. Here we are once again for another episode of science and sorry we're late. Uh, on this episode we'll be having a general review on everything you studied uh, during this uh, semester with our late teacher Mr. Nader Nassim. Hello Mr. Nader <laughs> and welcome Hello. to the program. And excuse me for lateness. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. So uh, today as I just said uh, it's going to be a, a review and we'll be receiving uh, your phone calls on our phone number 257-56187. So if you've got any questions uh, do give us a call. And Mr. Nader of course has prepared uh, a variety of important questions uh, for you. Let us begin with them Mr. Nader. Okay let us start with our first question which is complete the following statement this question please read the question carefully till the end the word or till the end point in this question to know the answer correctly or to know the answer with its arrangement let's start with the first lesson first sorry question first question says that the light bulb consists of point point and point again the first question says that the light bulb consists of I know that you are I, or I'm sure that you know this question Beige, sure. okay, glass bulb, filament. Again, the light bulb consists of three main parts, which are beige, glass bulb, and the filament. Another question. Materials are classified into point and point according to their chemical or their conductivity of electricity. Sorry. Materials are classified into space and space or points and points according to their conductivity of electricity. Sure, you know that electric conductors and electric insulators. Electric conductors and electric insulators. Another question. Suction pump is a point lever, while point is a second class lever. Suction pump is a point lever, while point is a second class lever. Suction pump, as we know, is a second or is a first or is a third. So it will be the first class lever, as you know, because the fulcrum is between the resistor and the effort force. While point is the second class lever, we have many examples of second class lever, like nutcracker, wheelbarrow, uh, bottle opener, and so on. So again, suction bump is the first, but the wheelbarrow is second class lever. Okay, we've got uh, Hashem on the phone. Hello, Hashem, how are you? I am fine. Okay, Hashem, uh, do you have any questions? Yes. All right, uh, tell us your questions. Uh, right scientific theorem. Right scientific theorem, Hashem? Right scientific theorem. Right what? Scientific right term? Scientific theorem. Okay, Hashem, okay. You can see your question. A structure? A structure? In the plant? A structure in the plant. Where water? In the plant. Where? Water. Water. Passes through it? Passes. Through it? Through it. Hmm. From root to stem. From root to stem. To stem. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then to leaves. Then to leaves. Okay. Then to leaves. I think Hashem, your question is uh, has a, uh, another word. A structure in the plant root. It must be like this. Okay. Structure in the plant root where water passes through it, throw it from root to stem, then to leaves. It will be the xylem layer the xylem layer or the wood layer Hashem. Okay? I have another question. Okay, Hashem. Hmm. Uh, complete. Complete. Another question. Complete. Okay. The sun. What, Hashem? The sun. The sun. Glow. Sun what, Hashem? Glows? Oh. Okay. Spell, spell Hashem glows? In the, in the solar uh, eclipse. Again, Hashem, please, the question again. The sun. Glows? The Spell Hashem the second word. Spell. Glow. G L O W. G L O W S. Okay. Hmm. In the solar eclipse. In the solar eclipse. Is. If. Is. Is or if. Oh. Is. I think it's not question Hashem. This question is wrong. Again, Hashem the question. The sun glows in the solar eclipse. If or is. 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 I is. Okay, is. That's only Hashem? Yes. The sun glows in the solar eclipse is. That's not question Hashem. The, the I think there is a mistake in this question Hashem. Please read the question carefully again. Okay? The, the sun glows in the solar eclipse is. 
Do you understand this question? Mm -hmm. Okay, I will revise the Hashem again and I will uh, see this question in the next episode. Okay? Okay. Which okay. page Hashem? Which page? Uh, Maybe there is which a page in the book? Did what Hashem? Okay, Hashem, if you have, uh, if you're a member of our uh, group on Facebook, you can contact us and uh, leave us uh, your question. Okay, thank you, Hashem. Let us carry on, Mr. Nitz. Okay, another question of complete question. The question says that light bulb changes point energy into point energy. As we know, light bulb changes electric energy into light energy. Again, light bulb changes electric energy into light energy. Another question. Filament of the electric lamp. Filament of the electric lamp is made of tungsten. As you know, filament of the electric lamp is made of tungsten because tungsten has high melting point. Again, because tungsten has high melting point. Another question. If a boy sits on a seesaw, its weight is 250 N at a distance about 100 cm from the fulcrum and the girl sits on the other side. Her weight is 200 newton. Calculate the distance suitable to seat this girl to make balance. This is a lever law question or a lever law problem. Problem. So the first step to answer the question correctly is to write the lever law. Let us write the lever law with ourselves. Effort, as we know by effort force arm. Effort by effort force arm equal. Next to mabad. Effort by effort force arm equal resistance by resistance arm. So here again, we read the question. If a point sits on a seesaw, its weight is 250 newton. So I imagine that the effort force is 250 newton. Is 250 newton by 100 centimeter. That's the effort force or the distance from the boy to the fulcrum. And the girl is 200 newton. So the resistance is 200 newton. So what's the resistance arm? What's the resistance arm? As we uh, answered before the resistance arm would be that equal the total size here the right side is total or is completed 250 by 100 divide 200 so it will be omit two zero with two zeros 250 divide 2 will be 125 centimeter 125 centimeters so the answer here is 125 centimeter by answering the lever law Effort by effort force equal resistance by resistance arm. Again, effort by effort force arm equal resistance by resistance arm. That's the effort law which we use to answer all the problems of Lever's law. All the problems of Lever law we answer with the same rule effort by effort force equal resistance by resistance force arm. Again, effort by effort force arm equal resistance by resistance arm. Okay, that's the rule we used in this problem to answer it correctly and easily at the same time. Another question. A long uniform metallic bar is hanged from its midpoint, a force of 14 newton. Exerts at 5 cm from this midpoint. Find the width which must be hanged at 25 cm to make the bar get balanced. The first step as we uh, are usual is that force by effort force arm. We can write next step equal resistance by resistance arm okay so here effort is 14 newton by effort force arm is 5 centimeter equal resistance here is absent but the resistance arm is 25 centimeter so the resistance will be that the resistance will be that 14 by 5 divide 25 so i can abbreviate one 5 divide 5 equal 1 divide 5 equal 8 so it will be 8 newton 8 newton why newton here not centimeter because we know that the resistance and the effort force are with newton the measuring unit of resistance and effort force are newton not centimeter again the resistance and effort force uh, units are newton not centimeter okay another question for the lever law Okay, another question for the lever law, and we know that we answer all the lever law or all the problems of lever law by one rule, which is that, or which states that effort force by effort force arm 
equal resistance by resistance arm. So another problem, the length of the force arm of the crossbar is 100 centimeters. Okay, so let us write the rule effort force next to bad by effort force arm equal resistance by resistance arm. Okay, so here the force arm is 100 centimeter. I write 100 centimeter here by what and equal what. Okay, and the length of the resistance arm is 15 centimeters. The length of the resistance arm is 15 centimeters. Is the value of the resistance equal 400 newton? So here he will demand me to find the force. Okay, so what about the force here? The force is that, always be that, 4 equal 400 by 15, divide 100. So omit two zeros with the two zeros. Okay, it will be 4 by 15 equal 60 Newton again, because all of us know that force and resistance are measured in Newton, are measured in Newton, not centimeter. Again, force and resistance are measured in Newton, okay? So again, the Lever's law states that effort force by effort force arm equal resistance by resistance arm. Another question. In the second class lever, the effort force is 150 Newton. The length of the force arm is 20 centimeter and the resistance is 300 Newton. Calculate the resistance arm. So the first step, as we know, is to write the law. Effort force by effort force arm equal resistance next step by resistance R. Okay, here it said that the effort force is 150 Newton, 150 by effort force R equal 20 Newton and the resistance is 300 Newton. Calculate the resistance R, the resistance R. So it will be answered easily, the resistance arm, the resistance arm equal 150 by 20 divide 300 two zeros with the two zeros, divide three equal one, divide three equal five, so it will be five by two equal ten centimeter, ten centimeter. That's the lever law which state that effort force by effort force arm equal resistance by resistance arm. Again, the lever law is very easy law to answer any problem of lever law which states that effort force by effort force arm equal resistance by resistance arm. Another question, I think a new question of lever law also. The length of the force arm of a crow power is 10 centimeter and the length of the resistance arm is 15 centimeter. If the value of the resistance equal 20 Newton, calculate the value of the effort force and mention the type of the lever. Again here, a new point in this question or in this problem to mention the type of the lever. So the first step is to write the law effort force by effort force arm equal resistance by resistance arm. As we know, the length of the force arm says that 10 centimeters. Force arm, 10 centimeters. And the resistance arm is 15 centimeters. So the value of the resistance, 20. So calculate the effort force and mention the type of that lever. Okay, here, effort force will be that, will be 20 by 15 over 10, zero with zeros will be 2 by 15 equals 30 Newton as we know because force is measured in Newton. So what are the type or what is the type of this lever? It says that a crow power and all of us know that the crow power is a first class lever. So it will be first class lever. Why? Because it's a crow power or another point here because the air force force arm is shorter than the resistance arm. So it may be the first or third class lever. Again, because the effort force arm is shorter than the resistance arm, it may be first or third class lever. But we know that the second class lever, the best type of lever, is that the best type. Why or give reason? Because in the second class lever, the resistance arm is shorter than the effort force arm or the effort force arm is longer than the resistance arm. So again, another question of give reason question give reason, the second class lever is a pest type or has a mechanical benefit or conserves effort, why or give reason? Because all of us know that second class lever has uh, or the effort force arm in second class lever is longer than the resistance arm. Okay, Mr. Yasser? Marina, it's a question from one of the 
الو اسماء اهلا وسهلا بحضرتك اهلا وسهلا بحضرتك معلش انا كان عندي مجموعه اسئله بعد اذن حضرتك اتفضلي إيه اولا وات هابن وين وات هابن وين تلسكوب ازنت ديسكفر وات هابن وين تلسكوب ازنت ديسكفر تلسكوب ازنت ديسكفر اوكي ده اول سؤال في ثاني سؤال ده موجود في في كتاب المدرسه اوكي بليز ليت مي انسر ذا فيرست كويشن اوكي 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 لا هو في مجموعه كبيره اوكي اي رايت ذيم اوكي اوكي وات هابن وين بليسنج ذا تنس بول ان فرونت اوف بليسنج وات بليسنج وات ذا تنس بول ان فرونت اوف ان الكتريك اوكي بليسنج ذا تنس بول ان فرونت اوف ان الكتريك لامب in front of uh, an electric lamp an electric lamp lamp okay once close to it and the other far from it once once close to it and the other far once from close it. To it and other far other, from it far from it okay, okay. Uh, if you give reason Okay. Uh, the concentration of solution inside the plant. Give reason. The concentration of solution inside the plant. The concentration of solution uh, inside the plant. Okay. Uh, bigger than concentration of solution uh, of soil solution. Inside the plant is bigger than concentration of soil solution. Bigger than concentration of Okay. Uh, fee, um, scientific uh, term. Scientific uh, it, term. Loses, it loses water from the planet in it the form of water vapor. It loses water uh, from loses the plant. From the plant. In from of, um, in the form of water vapor. In the form of water vapor. Water vapor. Mm -hmm. Okay. In the form of Water vapor. هنا احنا ما بنبقاش عارفين نكتب الاستوماتا ولا نكتب yes. الترانسبيشن. لا 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 اذا استمعتها. Because here it loses. هو هنا عايز يقول مين اللي بيعمل uh, اللي بيعمل lose water. The uh. organ in the plant or the, the opening in the plant. اوكي okay. هو. اذا استمعت. هو في اخر سؤال وده كتير مختلفين عليه جدا مش عارفين بصراحة انهي اجابة الصح. Uh, it occurs when the moon enters the semi shadow area it of occurs. the earth. Uh. When the moon. Enters the semi-shadow area of the Earth. The semi-shaded semi area. Semi-shaded area of the Earth. Ah, هو في إجابتين إحنا مش عارفين أني فيهم الصح. Okay. في إجابة إنه lunar eclipse occur and moonlight turns to be fun. No, no, I don't agree this answer. I think the answer will be semi-shaded lunar eclipse, the third type of lunar eclipse. Semi-shaded, semi-shaded. Lunar eclipse. طب بس كتاب المدرسة ما فيهوش التايب التالت ده. Okay. وفي تو تايبس بس. But semi shaded lunar eclipse is, isn't a type correctly. It's a, it's a case of eclipse where we can see the moon without shining light. هو مش eclipse كده زي الاكليبس اللي بيحصل في الصن. هو أنا بشوف المون في الحالة ديت يعني without shining. اه. Uh. Okay. So we can write correctly semi shaded lunar eclipse. اوكي ميرسي خالص شكرا ميرسي شكرا okay. لحضرتك يعني وتحيه طبعا لكل الامهات اللي بتتفرج على البرنامج وتذاكر <تصفيق> لاولادها <لي تصفيق> <تصفيق> اوكي okay. so the, uh, the answer of the last question it occurs when the moon enters the semi shaded lunar eclipse the, the semi shaded sorry area of the earth so the answer correctly will be semi shaded lunar eclipse and it's not eclipse like the eclipse what ha like happened uh, for the earth but it's a case of eclipse or it's a case where we can see the moon Uh, in a shadow area or in a shaded area without shining light. We see the moon not with a or a Okay, so another question. Scientific term. It loses water from the plant in the form of water, vo water vapor. So the answer will be the stomata, the stomata or the opening, the stomata or the opening. The answer of the questions. Again, the stomata or the opening that found on the lower leaf larger than or bigger than the upper surface of the leaf that uh, help in the transpiration process. So here, the answer will be the stomata. So another question, give reason question. The concentration of solution inside the plant is bigger than the concentration of the soil solution. Why? I think the answer to be that, to help in, to help in osmosis process, to help in osmosis process and Bosses water, bosses water to inside the plant. 
inside the plant. Again, this question is very important question. The concentration of the solution inside the plant is bigger than the concentration of the soil solution. So the answer will be that to help in osmosis process and passes water to inside the plant and passes water to inside the plant. Another question, what happened? What happened when? Telescope isn't discovered. Telescope isn't discovered. If telescope isn't discovered, we cannot observe the space or we cannot understand astronomical phenomena like eclipses with its two types, solar and lunar and so on. So the answer would be that we cannot or we can't observe the space and also and also we cannot we cannot understand understand astronomical phenomena astronomical phenomena okay uh, the last question i think that placing the tennis ball in front of an electric lamp one close to it and another time far from it i think this this experiment uh, show is what happened during eclipses so the lamp represents the sun and the tennis ball represents the earth or the moon so here if we what if we put or if, or if we place a tennis ball in front of an electric lamp there will be eclipses there will be two areas which are umbra and pin umbra if the tennis ball is far from it i will have two areas only umbra and pin umbra if it near to it i will have three areas umbra and pin umbra and antumbra or the negative shadow okay so here the answer will be that i will have i will have two areas umbra okay mr answer and pin umbra and pin umbra umbra and pin umbra if only this is near umbra and pin umbra sorry if it's far away far away okay but we will have we will have umbra plus pin umbra and at last antumbra the negative shadow if it is near to the lamp and i said that the lamp here represents the sun and the tennis ball represent the part in the middle or the middle body which represents the moon in some times and the earth in another times okay okay uh, we've got uh, marawan min skandaria ahlan bika marawan hello how are you marawan i am fine okay you've got any questions no i want to be asked want to be asked okay marawan we have choose question marawan okay okay we will see it on the monitor now choose the, the correct answer water rises from root to stem through bind layer in the dermis epidermis wood cortex again mm. wood one. what my one wood yes excellent my one wood or xylem okay another question all the following conductive tracy except iron copper cloth aluminium all the following conductive tracy except iron copper cloth aluminium cloth very good my one cloth another question the partial soil eclipse appears in the area of umbra, binambra, negative shadow, and tampra. Partial marawan, please note. Observe the partial begin with the letter what? Partial. In umbra. Yeah, very good. Partial begin with the letter P and binambra also begin with the letter P. So it will appear in the binambra area of the moon. Again, partial soil eclipse appears in the area of the binambra of the moon. The last question around for you. Mm. Okay, the filament of the light bulb is made of tungsten, copper, lead, iron. Tungsten. Yes, choose marwan. But why marwan? We choose tungsten for uh, manufacturing of the filament. Why tungsten especially? Because it has high melting point. Very good, excellent. Because it has high melting point. So uh, and on the electric current, but so it it convert it to uh, uh, light energy. Very good, Marwan. Excellent answer. Thank okay, you, Marwan, Marwan uh, are you done with the studying? خلصت المذاكرة وبترجع. Yes. Okay, bravo, Marwan, and thank you very much. Okay. إحنا كده خلصنا أسئلة. مدام. آه تمام. تمام. Okay, how much? Four questions. Okay. Give reasons, scientific term. Uh, what happened and scientific term.
Okay. All the questions finished. Just okay. making sure. Okay. Okay. Another question, which is choose question, choose the correct answer question. When you connect more than one pulp in parallel an electric source, the lightning of the pulp decreases, increases, doesn't change A, P, and C. Again, when you connect more than one pulp in parallel an electric source, the lightning of the pulp decreases, increases, doesn't change A, P. So the answer would be that doesn't change because in connecting in parallel, the electric intensity doesn't change because parallel is preferred. So that parallel is preferred than series. Again, we connect lamp at home in parallel because the intensity of lamp doesn't change if one lamp is burned out, is unscrewed, is uh, broken, and so on. Another question. The plant makes its own food through point process. The choices are respiration, digestion, or digestion, sensation, photosynthesis. Again, the plant makes its own food through point process, respiration, digestion, sensation, photosynthesis. I think you can know, you can answer this question, Mr. Yasser, photosynthesis process. So again, the plant makes its own food in a process called photosynthesis process, and it's a very essential process for life on the planet Earth. Another question. The first class lever differs from the second class lever in what? The absence of the active force, the presence of the fixed point, the position of the fulcrum, or the presence of the resistance. So the answer, as we know, is that the position of the fulcrum, because we know that in the first class lever, fulcrum is found between the resistance and effort force. But in the second class lever, resistance is found between effort force and fulcrum, again, in first class lever, we will find O, which is, is a symbol of uh, fulcrum, between F and R. But in the second class lever, we will find resistance, which, is, which has a symbol R, between F and O. Another question. When the moon comes between the sun and the earth, point happen. Tornadoes, solar eclipse, lunar eclipse, and tsunami. Surely, it will be solar eclipse. When the moon comes between the sun and the earth, it will be solar eclipse. But if the Earth or if the Earth comes between the Sun and the Moon, it will be lunar eclipse. Again, when the Moon comes between the Sun and the Earth, solar eclipse occurs. <coughs> Another question. The filament of the light bulb is made of tungsten because it has low density, low melting point, high melting point, reacts with oxygen. Again, the filament of the light bulb is made of tungsten, as we know, because it has high melting point, because it has high melting point. Another question. Tweezers are considered from the second class lever, or from the third, or from the first. It will be from the third class lever, because we know that tweezer has the effort force between resistance and fulcrum. Again, tweezer is the second, is the third, sorry, class lever, because it has the effort force between the resistance and the fulcrum, between the resistance and the fulcrum. Again, tweezer is considered as the third class lever because it has effort force, which has a symbol F, between the resistance and the fulcrum. Another question. To observe the solar eclipse safely, you should wear, so yes, that's your turn, special glasses, heavy clothes, medical glasses, lenses. We must wear what to observe? Of course, uh, you, uh, we must wear special, special glasses. Special glasses, like the, the glasses we use in 3D dimension or 3 dimension films, okay? Mm -hmm. Or uh, CD, CD cinema. Yeah. Okay, so again, to observe solar eclipse safely, you should wear special glasses because all of us know that during solar eclipse, the sun emits harmful radiation mm -hmm. such as ultraviolet and infrared radiation, yeah. which may cause so give, blindness. Uh, the sun gives out harmful uh, yeah, radiation. harmful radiation, which may cause blindness to the eye. Okay, so the answer will be special glasses, not the rod khasa. Another question. Which of the following is the second class lever? Sweet holder, wheel paro, seesaw, hockey pad. I think the answer will be that wheel paro, because we know wheel paro, nut cracker, bottle opener, all of them are second class lever, okay? Another question. Plugging many machines to one socket may cause electric overload, heating up of wires, fire, AP and C. 
again, plugging machine, many machines to one socket may cause electric, electric overload. overload. It's the right answer, but all of the other answers are right also. Yeah. So it will cause electric overload. Yeah, because the, the last one is uh, not yeah. seen, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not seen. It's okay. hidden. A, B, and C. Okay, so electric overload, as you said, is right, Mr. Yasser. And also it will cause heating up the wire and also it will cause fire. So the answer will be all of them are A, P, and C. A, P, and C. Okay? Another question. In the annual solar eclipse, the moon appears larger than, smaller than, equal to, more tiny than the size of the sun. In this type of eclipse, in the annual solar eclipse, we can see the margins only of the sun, the lighting ring of the sun. So we can imagine that the moon is smaller than the sun because the moon hides most of the size of the sun, not all the size of the sun. The moon here is smaller than the sun because it hides most, not all, the size of the sun. Another question. Root hair absorbs water by swallowing osmosis, voluntary fetcher, respiration. Again, root hair absorbs water by swallowing osmosis, voluntary fetcher, respiration. All of us know this question carefully because it's last lesson we've studied. It's osmosis process. It's osmosis process which means that the transmission of water from high concentration to the lower concentration, from the soil to the plant, because we know that the soil has more water than the plant has. Okay, another question. The lunar eclipse occurs in the point of the lunar month, middle, end, beginning, first three days. Again, lunar eclipse occurs in the point of the lunar month, middle, in beginning for three days so the answer surely will be that in the middle of the month and all of us know that lunar eclipse occurs two times per year two times per year okay okay i'm afraid our time is up uh, mr nether so i'd like to thank you very much uh, thank for you, being late and for <laughs> having again. I'm so sorry for being late today okay thank you mr nether uh, thank you all everybody who's watching us so we'll be back uh, at 5 30 but that time will be for the third prep uh, uh, students uh, and uh, don't forget to join our facebook group madrasa ala and until we meet you again it's goodbye